everybody. Um, next thing I want to show you is um, uh, how I make cordage or th thread out of out of sinew. Um, so um, I always have my um, sewing kit with me. It goes everywhere with me, like my flint and steel. All right. So but inside here, I've got some. Got some sinew. This is back sinew. I can't remember if it's from a deer or an elk, um, but it's taken from along the backbone, right? Um, this is like nature's superior cordage, right? So, kind of beat it up, get it a little fine, and I can get it really fine and pull the pull the things apart here, the fibers apart, and get it down. that step back in there okay so you can get it pretty darn fine so like when I'm in the woods the sewing kit is pretty darn handy he's like preparing your clothes and and um, always used to run around in moccasins which you need to repair <laughs> nearly every day um, so I'll get that pretty fine that looks pretty good right there. So I got a couple pieces in there like that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what's called a reverse twist. Okay, so the sinew has its own kind of uh, adhesive in it. So, um, but it doesn't really work unless you get it moist. So, so I start. You get all these little pieces like that, right there, going out. So I run it through my mouth and get it moist. And get all those pieces to lay down. And it, um, when it, when it um, twists together, it stays together. And then um, then fray all the tag ends or whatever come out. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up and I'm gonna start twisting this up. So hold this piece here like that. I'm going to twist this one clockwise and then fold it under counterclockwise. Twist it clockwise under counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise. And then I kind of pull it a little bit tight there. still cold my fingers aren't as dexterous as I'd like them to be right now and there we'll get this this done it just kind of holds in on itself I just keep pinching it up a little bit further a little bit further you know, Tighter. So, my shelter. Not quite done. It did a pretty good job last night keeping the wind out, but 
if I was to stay here longer, I'd definitely want to finish the walls in with boughs. It's, it's good to be back in the woods here for sure. It's like this is where I belong. So you can see how it started to come along. I like to kind of lick my fingers and now we got it going. When it's thin like this, uh, um, it's great for for sewing stuff up. It's just tough stuff. It's just tough, tough, tough. Um, thicker, you can make bowstrings or, out of it. I've never used it for fish line. I imagine it'd be all right. Still a little chilly this morning. It's just even finer too, but the way my my hands are, my fingers are moving right now, it'd be pretty pretty delicate to get that done. Now if wanted a longer one and splice in I'd splice in a piece right here cut it out and then a splice in a piece right out here so the splice is not in the same spot Splice in a piece right there, but there you go. How's that look? Oh, that stuff's so tough. Oh, I'm yanking on that thing as hard as I can go. It ain't doing nothing. It's tough. Anyway, there you go. Talk to you later, mate. <laughs>